Classically, Abby is Ben Shapiro's sister. And it seemed like at first when she launched her YouTube career, she was just making content about innocuous things, really benign subjects. But now she is uh, taking some cues from her brother and she's getting involved in politics and she's attacking the left. Five lies the left tells women that make me furious. So I have no idea what she's going to say. Um, but let's go ahead and hear her out. She looks like she uh, isn't very furious here. She looks very happy. So I don't know how furious she's going to be, but if it's anything like her brother, then she's going to be real mad. Hello, Classic Crew, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be talking about five things the left tells women that make me furious. I've got to say already, her voice is much more masculine than Men Shapiro's. Far less nasally, she talks at a normal speed, less insufferable than Ben Shapiro. Uh, my first impression, I've got to say, is I like her more than Ben Shapiro. But we haven't heard her political points yet, so I could, uh, I could end up regretting those words. But <laughs> let's hear her out. Okay, first of all, I've just got to comment on the old lady aesthetic. Um, I'm feeling it. I like it a lot. I like the watercolor paintings of the flowers. I think it's cute. Um, I'm getting like, I'm getting old lady vibes and I like it a lot. So we'll, we'll just leave that there. Hopefully there's more graphics that, uh, are more comforting because in the event she has like this comforting old lady aesthetic that could maybe psychologically manipulate us so that we were disarmed and we open up our minds and accept her harmful anti-left arguments. We'll see. If you are new to Demon my Mama did a fantastic and hilarious video about Abby. I have not seen that. I'll have to check it out. Um, like I, I want to say this is my first real introduction into Abby. I think I watched a Vosh video where he talked about her years ago, but I don't remember anything. So this is essentially a clean slate for me. So yeah, um, I'll take this as like my first official introduction into Abby. Here we talk about classic living and traditional values, and I would love if you would consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. If you'd like to get access to a ton of exclusive content, including my book club, my movie club, as well as weekly exclusive articles, make sure to head over to classicallyabby.substack.com. Got In today's her. video, I want to talk about five things that the left tells women that just make me mad. I saw this on another person's channel. They did this thing where it was like, five things in their field that make me furious, and I thought that was super fun and i've got some things that make me furious okay she's she needs to get to the point i'm gonna speed this up um because i can't like let's just go faster so i'm ready to talk about it not happy let's get into it even when i do 1.5 1. 1. speed she's still not even half as fast as ben shapiro isn't that crazy i missed the title screen though let me go back You do, you do you, scratch that. You do others. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Number one, why does the left insist on telling women that sex with random people is empowering? It's not, uh, it's just not. Having sex with one man who loves you, respects you, wants to have a family with you, that, that's empowering. That's pretty awesome because you I mean, different strokes for different folks. If you don't want to have sex with a lot of people, then don't, Abby. Is this really is this really that infuriating to you? Because I feel like I don't care. Like the fact that she wants to be in a monogamous relationship, more power to you. I'm in one as well, right? Um, but the mere thought that other people are like, hey, if you want to go uh, have fun and enjoy life and fuck people, that doesn't do anything. Like it doesn't affect my life at all. So I have no no thoughts on it. But apparently she gets very furious. You know what's really empowering is a guy who loves you enough to want to make you feel good as opposed to a guy who wants to have a one night stand and is looking for his own pleasure. Have you considered that? That a guy who is devoted to you, who loves you, who's going to spend his life with you, cares whether or not you are having fun. But like, is this something that the left is telling people? I, I feel like this is just, in general, people are kind of more inclined to have this live and let live philosophy. Maybe, you know, if you want to settle down and find someone, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I just, I feel like this isn't necessarily something that makes her furious. I think she's lying about how angry she is. She doesn't even look angry. Um, she does look like a Ben Shapiro though, from this angle. But, um, I, I feel like she's pretending to be triggered. There's no way this bothers her. Nobody cares. A guy who is never going to see you again cares if he is having fun, which is more empowering. 
which is more empowering a situation where if you got pregnant the guy was ready and willing to I, I think that empowerment is a non sequitur here it's just about freedom people are doing what they want to do when people are having sex they're not thinking hmm does this empower me they're just trying to bust a nut i feel like she's overthinking this right <laughs> like <laughs> This is why these theocratic people are fucking weird. They can't not think about what other people are doing in the bedrooms. Just mind your own business, okay? Different strokes for different folks. Uh, if you want to be in a relationship with one person, that's beautiful. What a what a wonderful thing. But I just don't understand why she's mad that other people don't want to settle down. Who gives a shit? I don't give a fuck at all. It's so weird. If you is excited about it, wants to be the father of your children, or having sex with a guy who would absolutely panic if you told him that you were pregnant and that this would be a big problem. Yeah, there's a lot of reasons that having sex with people outside of marriage is not empowering. It's easy to convince yourself and lie to yourself and say, well, I like sex. So if I like sex, then it must be empowering for me to get it however I want it. No. I don't think that they're thinking it's empowering, Abby. Okay, this is insufferable. Let me go to the second thing that makes her furious, okay? You're not built for this. I, okay, I, I need more context. Number two, shout your abortion. Get an abortion. Have an abortion rather than have a baby. It is good for women to have the option to murder their child so that they can <laughs> pursue their careers. Uh, no. Okay, stop. She is, she's not serious. Shut up. Okay, first of all, I don't think that, um leftists see a pregnant woman and they're like hey when are you gonna chop that thing up <laughs> when are you gonna suck that thing out i think people mo most uh, most of all are just like if you want the abortion great if you want to have the baby cool if somebody wants to do something that i wouldn't necessarily do myself that's called freedom if you don't like it move to saudi arabia i, I mean I, I don't know what else to tell you it it's so weird uh that's wrong none of that is true she's she's pretending as if Whenever a leftist sees a pregnant woman, like they make it their mission to proselytize about how based abortion is and they try to convince them to have the abortion. No, we're just like open to giving people the choice. We want them to be able to have that option if they want the abortion, because again, bodily autonomy is kind of an important concept in a free country, no? And this makes me so mad because number one, it's murder. Okay, get off that. Get I can actually tell that she is uh, mad here. Um, Okay, if it's murder, then would you support Herschel Walker who paid for abortions? Checkmate. Got her. Um, if your husband ever busted a nut outside of your vagina, um, would you consider that genocide? Because that is millions of potential lives lost. Is is your husband a genocider? Um, checkmate. Got her again. Th this is all very like conservative 101 elementary arguments, and they're very, very bad arguments. Uh, but she is classically Abby. So um, these are very classically conservative arguments, and they're dumb, right? But um, keep going. Number two, um, no woman is better off for killing her child. Women can tell themselves that they are. You don't know that. You don't know anyone's circumstance. She's making so many assumptions. She's concocted this hypothetical woman in her head where they were convinced by this bloodthirsty lefty to get an abortion and then all throughout their lives, they felt like a murderer and they never got over it. Like, you're making all of this up. Like, people are complicated. People have different stories. People have different reasons. Again, Abby, I I've got to say, mind your own business, okay? They can tell themselves that they're better off for having killed their child so that they could have a more stable life. But women who abort their children know that it's a child. They know. And it's their baby. And they're doing something harmful not only to another person but to themselves. Why don't we encourage women to embrace their natural strength as mothers and tell them that they can do this thing that seems so scary instead of telling them that they just can't handle it and that this isn't the right time. They should just get rid of this human. So she's actually, she's created this leftist straw man uh, where she actually believes that leftists are like going out of their way to convince women to get abortions who are pregnant. No, it's just about choices, giving people the choice. Um, conservatives are genuinely the nosiest people ever. Potential ladies. You can't fulfill your potential unless you get out of the house. How are you going to show how smart you are unless you have an amazing career? I hate that. I hate that. Why can't a woman fulfill her potential at home raising her children? What is potentially to me? Why do I have to prove my potential to people who... Oh my god. Amazing? Now this is at the Ben Shapiro's speech. She actually sounds like a Chad version of Ben Shapiro. Low key. This is actually Ben Shapiro's speed. Isn't that crazy? Like he talks at two times speed all the time. That still is mind blowing to me. I've got to talk slower. 
because I feel like I really want to articulate myself. And I can't do that if I'm like spouting off 500 words a minute. Made to be a mother. I have, they cannot replace me as their mother. So why, why do we tell women that the only way that they can fulfill Okay, this is creeping me out because she sounds like Ben Shapiro now for sure. I'm actually getting creeped out. In a job, in a career. It, I hate that kind of language because it makes it as though if you stay at home, you have failed or you're not living up to your tough smart you are. Like, what? what? Are you no. Most you're not failed if you want to stay be a stay at home mother. Lady, you're making so many assumptions. I just feel like she's she doesn't have any friends. Um, and none of us do. We're all millennials, so we don't have friends. But, like, you've never spoken to another human being before. Like, she's never left her bubble. The important thing you can do is build a home and build your family. Like, why do we make it so that women have to show off that they have done something that is visibly fulfilling their potential? And it's like, if any person can be a mother because you don't need a degree to get pregnant and have a baby, then... Are we on point number three? Did I miss who it? Who well, who, like, care about it and really put in effort. Hang on, maybe I skipped point, uh, excuse me, lie number three. Oh, god damn. She should have put chapters in. Abby, if you go into the description, I've been doing this longer than you, so I'm, I'm a pro. If you go into your description, you can do, uh, you can add timestamps, and you can actually create chapters in your video, so that way I don't have to scrub the whole fucking video and find out where line number two is, line number three, uh, because I'm lost now. I'm trying to figure out what the other lies are, and I don't know. I, I hate that kind of language. No. You fulfill your potential by just being a good person, by being a good mother. You don't have to get this high power career to prove you're smart or to prove you're ambitious or to prove you did a good job. Stupid. I hate that. Okay, so we no. definitely skipped number three. And that went by so fast that I missed it. Let me go back. Stupid. I hate that. Love yourself, ladies. Wait. You're angry that people are telling women to love themselves? Abby, there's no... <laughs> there's no way. Is she actually going to say this? Number four. Be body positive. I hate this language. Okay, so here's my issue with this whole body positivity movement, and I've talked about this a lot. So, number one, we encourage women to love their bodies, but not loving their bodies where they're at and, and for what they do, while also encouraging them to be healthy and lose weight and, and or gain weight if needed. Like, we encourage people to love their bodies where they're at, and that's beautiful. But really, it's very unhealthy, and it doesn't encourage women to actually like, get to a healthy place with their body. Oh, uh, no, 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 stop, stop. What are you, what are you saying? She's actual, okay. This is lie number four. We skipped three, so I don't know what that is. But this is one of the lies that make her furious when women are told by the left specifically that they should love themselves. It makes me so mad when people tell women to love themselves. Hate yourself. You're disgusting. I, I mean, who thinks like this? She's furious that anyone would say, you know what? If you're a couple pounds overweight, that's not that bad. If you're a hundred pounds overweight, you know what? Nobody's perfect. We all have our flaws. I mean, every single person is like, we all have issues, right? But she's acting like little miss, you know, perfection, little miss goody two shoes with her nose in the air. Well, I'm perfect, so I can love myself. I'm kind of using a Ben Shapiro voice. Um, it's just so insufferable. And at the same time, we encourage women to be immodest all the time. Like, immodest? Women in direct competition with each other by encouraging people to dress in a way that shows off their entire bodies. Like a fashion trend was a bra of last season. You're supposed to wear a bra out. And it's like, oh no. We, we're then don't wear that. Don't wear that. Uh, I just, th this is just her, like her soul is that of a 98-year-old woman. Like, when she was born, like, maybe her great-grandmother died and possessed her, and now this is just, like, the second life of some old lady that's living in her. Like, the old lady aesthetic was something that I liked because, uh, like, I kind of... Ch I fuck with old lady vibes. Um, but this is, like, actual, like, old lady boomer bullshit that she's, that she's bitching about here. Because... Fat women and skinny women and curvy women and boyish women can all wear these things and they should all wear these things. Who's gonna look better in these things? Come on. Why are we putting people in direct competition with each other by encouraging them to expose their bodies? What's the competition though? What is even, what's the competition? How are they being forced to compete against each other? Lady, if you mind your own business, then I think your life would get a lot better. Like you wouldn't be this furious as you say you are, right? Nobody's competing. People just want to live their own lives. Just fuck off. Mind your own fucking business. I, I can't emphasize that enough to conservatives like uh, classically Abby, Ben Shapiro, Matt Walsh. Mind your own fucking business. You goddamn busybodies. Like, they drive me nuts. And every single, like, religious person that I know is just like this, too. Like, so judgmental. Always has, you know, something to say. Always want to insert their two cents. Shut the fuck up. Okay? If I wanted to hear an asshole, I'd fart. 
We're also telling them, like, love where you're at. You're so beautiful. We're not blind. People are smart. We can tell what the healthier body than another. And by I could tell that I'm ugly. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I just don't get the point of this. You just want people to feel like shit because it makes you feel better. Fuck yourself. Exposing everything and encouraging people to expose everything. We're only doing a disservice to everybody. It's so stupid. I just how how is somebody who's overweight loving themselves a disservice to me? I don't give a shit. Okay, if you love yourself and you're overweight, that's beautiful. If you hate yourself and you're overweight, okay, that's kind of sad. Doesn't affect me either way. If you love yourself and you're skinny, hate yourself and you're skinny. Doesn't affect me either way. For me, I'm more about good vibes, so I'd prefer that people love themselves. Uh, but if you want people to hate themselves, okay, that's weird. But um, to be furious over the state of love or hate that somebody has with themselves, it, it's just kind of deranged. It, like, again... Mind your own business, Abby. See our culture for a lot of reasons, but like this is one reason that I hate because it's so. These two things are paradoxical, and, it, and it's, they act like they're not, but they are. It's upsetting. On top of which, I mean, the whole idea that you have to expose yourself to show that you're confident is so stupid. You can be confident in your modesty. Who's saying that you have to be immodest to prove that you're confident? I mean, she's just making this up. If she had like an anecdote or a particular ad campaign where they're promoting a message. It's like, okay. But she's just like pulling random thoughts out of her head and complaining about them. It's just, it's like old man yelling at clouds vibe. It, like this is not based on anything in, in reality. It's just so, it's so strange. I cover up because I love my body and I respect it. And I only want to share with one person who will show the respect it deserves. Why do you get access, stranger on the internet, to my body and you don't care a lick about me? Like, no, we're not doing that. The body positivity movement, the modesty of our era, like, I hate it. Just dress in a way that is attractive, not attracting. That gives people an opportunity to see your personality and doesn't make people focus on your boobs. Give people an opportunity to exercise and get healthy and well. Yeah. So would you support uh, free health care? Uh, universal gym memberships? Something like that? No, of course not. I'm not lonely. I'm independent. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I know where this is going. This is some boomer-ass level rants, though. Last but not least is number five. Women don't need no man. I was talking to Jacob about this because this concept bothers me so much. When we watch like girl power movies or movies that are directed towards women, there's so many these days that if they're not a chick flick, it's a movie where a woman needs to prove that she's independent at the end. So she doesn't have any man. She's like, look at me. I figured it out. I don't need any man to help me find myself because I'm so strong and empowered. But movie Isn't that good though? I mean, certainly um, there are a lot of people who are codependent, but if you're able to like establish your own confidence and stuff before you're with someone, I think that's pretty good. Because how can you love, you know, another person? Well, if you don't even love yourself, self-love is a good thing. Men are more pulled in the direction of wanting to just, like, screw around and not really be at home, theoretically. Like, they want to be more, they're more bachelors, and that women have more of a tendency to want to be married and have children, and so maybe they're trying to make those women who haven't found that yet feel better about themselves. But don't encourage women to make those decisions. Like, what? Don't, that's stupid. That's not good. It who? Happy. I understand that we're trying to but, Abby, who's doing this, though? You don't have any examples. Like, you're saying these are lies that the left tells, but, like, which leftist is saying this? I, I, just, <laughs> I just don't understand why these are making her furious and why these are things that exclusively left people say, like say. I feel like this is just benign like advice that adolescents give to each other, maybe. Um, although, again, a lot of this she just seems to be pulling out of her ass. But by making that decision, you're only making it harder for yourself to find a husband and to have children and have a home life. Like, no, women are not better off by being independent and going off without a man and not needing someone. Everybody needs a partner. Many women, women need that done. Solved. The mystery of the world has been solved. So stop telling women that they are better off on their own and that they're stronger on their own. No, no. Like, figure yourself out. But don't, don't issue men. Men are very good for you. They will make you better and you will make them better. But congratulations. Gotcha. Oh, I'm going to throw a wrench in her argument. What if they're a lesbian? What if they exclusively are women who date women and only are attracted to women? Then what? Oh, that's evil. That, that'd be the response. That's my Ben Shapiro voice. I need, like, an Abby Shapiro voice. The left is really doing a disservice to women, so these are the five things that are making me furious today. Wait, the, the, the left isn't saying shit. Shut up. What's the thing that's making you furious that the left is trying to tell women? What are your thoughts? What are your feelings? <laughs> oh, you want, are you sure you want me to share? <laughs> okay, Abby. The left keeps telling me to stick dildo. No, Michael, no. I'm going to be an adult. We're not going to go there. Okay, let's just look at the rest of her. <laughs> I swear, <laughs> I swear to God. Okay, let me zoom out. What, what's the other content that she's offering here? Um, five ways to impress a guy on a first date. Nine life lessons I learned on my 28th birthday. I'm almost 30, y'all. 
JK Rowling transphobe drama. God, this looks really bad. Planning a themed board game night. She looks miserable, if I'm being honest, but maybe she's happy. I hope she's happy. I wish her nothing but happiness. Up yours. Up yours. Up yours. Sons of bitches. 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 Woke moralism. Woke moralism. Woke moralism. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. 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 Way.